Hello there, welcome to another lesson from the Style Academy. This lesson is on imitation. We're gonna talk about how you can learn from the awesomeness of others, specifically from the awesomeness of their writing. And here is an awesome sentence from Annie Dillard. She's an essayist. And what I want you to do is pause this video and then copy this sentence exactly as you see it on the screen and you may want to read it out loud too, okay? So take a moment and go ahead and copy this sentence exactly as you see it. Okay, so what makes this sentence do what it does? Like any other sentence, it is a collection of phrases and clauses put together in interesting ways. And if we lay out the phrases and clauses in a design, we'll be able to see how this sentence works. So, here we have in red kind of the base uh, clause or the main idea of the sentence. A gall gnat larva produces eggs. And maybe as an aside here, I can tell you, and I hope I don't gross you out by telling you, that Annie Dillard is talking about in this essay certain bugs who uh, female, the female of the species will give birth to these eggs and then those eggs will hatch and then the babies will eat the mother. So that's why she's talking about gall gnat larvas here. But the base clause or the main idea here is a gall gnat larva produces eggs, right? But you can see how Annie Dillard has cleverly put different phrases and clauses in between the, the main idea, making it a really interesting and rhythmic sentence. And if we want to list what they are, you may have been familiar with the stuff that I've just put here on the screen from the uh, other, other uh, lessons like the writing sentences lesson or the phrases and clauses lesson in the Style Academy. But you can see how the sort of orangish yellow material here is modifying that main idea. And we have modifier as an opener. We have it as a subject verb interrupter. The gall gnat larva produces. That's the subject verb of the sentence, but Dillard has decided to interrupt the subject and verb with more modifiers, right? You can see, too, a, a, a verb direct object interrupter within its body. That nice little prepositional phrase there is interrupting produces and eggs. And then finally, she doesn't end with the main idea. She also has modification at the end of the sentence. Pretty cool. Another way to look at the structure of this sentence would be to put it like this. Stuff, a gall gnat larva, stuff, produces, stuff, eggs, stuff. All that stuff is modification through phrases and clauses. So what if I wanted to produce a sentence that kind of looked like this? Using my own you know, words and my own ideas, but using the structure that I see here. Maybe it would look like this. Sometimes, according to my mother, a good cheesy potato casserole, which isn't what you'd call gourmet cooking, and which seems more appropriate for funeral buffets, nevertheless tastes delicious when microwaved on a cold winter afternoon. So what I'm trying to do here is imitate the structure of her sentence, to imitate this structure, to have something beginning, then the main idea, but then main idea interrupted with phrases and clauses, which I've tried to do here. Now, you can also see that I've used pretty much exactly the same words that she used to introduce some of these interrupting phrases and clauses. Now, you don't have to do that. The idea of imitation is that you can kind of take some liberties, like I've done in this sentence, which isn't exactly like uh, what Dillard is doing. I don't use the same words that she uses, uh, or the same, even the same kind of phrases or clauses, but I'm trying to do pretty much the same thing with the structure. Now, if you want, you can pause and read this. I won't read it, read it out loud, but you can pause the video right now if you want to read this. But you can see what I've done here. On the right-hand side, this is the material that I wrote, and then on the left, this is what Dillard wrote, and you can see how I'm trying to match her phrase by phrase, clause by clause. And that is the idea behind imitating sentences. So remember when you were a kid and you wanted to be like an older brother or sister, or maybe a friend? You wanted to talk like them, walk like them, dress like them, wear your hair like, you, like they wore theirs, twirl a pencil just like they did, or shoot a basketball like they did? You thought that if you could only imitate their style, you could inherit their influence or their cool. 
So this Style Academy lesson has introduced you to the concept of imitation in writing. An imitation is a style exercise that's thousands of years old, dating back to the educational centers of ancient Greece and Rome. You may have heard the saying that imitation is a form of flattery. We imitate what we want to be. You may have also heard that imitation is a weakness. Imitators are fakers and phonies with no creative souls of their own, just trying to sail along on someone else's wind. Well, maybe it's both somehow. But the reality is that we can learn to write more effective sentences by studying and imitating the sentences of writers that we appreciate. So to sum up, we can, in fact, learn from the awesomeness of others, and you can start your own regimen of imitation right here. And this activity is explained wonderfully in Edward Corbett's book, Classical Rhetoric for the Modern Student. Okay, I'm almost done talking, and then you can get to work. The next two slides will have sentences on them. The first sentence is the one from Annie Dillard that we've already seen. The second is more academic. It comes from Kathy Davidson's book, Now You See It. It's a book about technology, brain science, and education. For both sentences, I want you to do three things. I want you to first, pause the video. Second, copy the sentence word for word as exactly as you see it on the screen. And then third, imitate the sentence in your own words, as I showed you how to do a little earlier in the video. Just remember to try in your imitation to use the same number and kind of phrases and clauses and in the same order. Good luck and enjoy. Okay, I hope this lesson helps you understand imitation a little bit better, get you warmed up, so you can now do the imitation exercises on the Style Academy. You'll also notice that there's a link to a page where that we have longer uh, segments of writing, and often it's useful to write an entire paragraph of a writer to get a sense of their style in, in a larger context. Thanks for tuning in.